everyone, welcome to the coding channel. Today is the 15th episode of our Java tutorial series for beginners. And in this episode, we are going to talk about how to trace do while loops in Java. This and more when we come back. You are still watching the coding channel Philippines. Now in this episode, we are going to trace the nested do while loops in Java. So let's get started. Now in line number five, we have a variable declaration int i is equal to four. So I have here, um, you just have to write again uh, four there as the initial value of uh, i. And then, as you can see, there is a do while loop here, the outer, and then we have the inner. Uh, loop. And at the same time, I uh, uh, inserted here some of the um, if and the else if uh, else um, statements. Okay, just to have a little bit of challenge. <laughs> okay, so let's try. Now, uh, if you're going to trace this one, uh, when we encounter the do while, so since the do while, we need to um, execute the statement first uh, before we test. So we will um, uh, proceed uh, to line number seven. Okay, so we have a variable declaration with initial value of a 3 to j. So let's try to have a 3 there. Okay. And then inside we have another. Okay. Uh, do, this is the inner uh, do while. So we will print now the uh, uh, first output. We have a j. So print the value of j plus the asterisk. Okay. So the uh, first output is 3. And then asterisk. So we have asterisk. And then take note we have a j minus minus or a post decrement. So meaning we need to subtract 1 to j. So this time the value of j is now a 2. And then um, we need to test while j, which is a 2 uh, greater than 0, true. So if it is true, we will go back to do a while again, the inner do while, and then uh, let's uh, print another uh, output state, uh, the value of j, which is now 2. Okay, we, we're still on the uh, first line, so, and then we have asterisk again, and then j minus minus, so this j now will become 1, and then after that, again, test uh, the while condition. So we have now j, which is 1, greater than 0, true. Okay, so uh, let's um, repeat again. Let's do and then print. Line number nine, system that out that print a j. So the value of j is one. And then we have asterisk. And j minus minus, so j now will become a zero. And then uh, test is j, which is now zero, greater than zero, false. So once this condition is a uh, false, we are now going to... Um, Increment the value of i in line number 11. Okay, so i plus plus, so i now will become 5. So meaning add 1 to the value of i. And then we have an if um, a statement here. So if i mod 2, yeah, i modulo 2. So we have 5 divided by 2 is the remainder 0. 5 divided by 2 remainder is not equal to 0. So therefore, we will not execute the if statements. Okay, we will proceed to else if. So uh, else if i, which is 5, is it equal to 5? True. So we will execute this um, statement. Plus plus i. Okay, so now take note. Um, we are using the uh, pre-increment. Okay, inside of the print ln or inside of the output statement, so which only means that we need to add one first to the value of i before we print. Okay, so the initial uh, the current value of i is five, so plus one, so six, and then that's the time that we uh, print. So we will um, uh, type here uh, six. Okay. 6 and then equal sign. Okay, there you go. 6 equal sign. And then, uh, and then after that, after printing, so the value of uh, i now is uh, 6. 
right? We have a uh, six there. And then we will not execute the else because um, we are uh, inside of the um, if else if uh, condition. So meaning once the uh, uh, this condition is already true, we will not um, execute anymore the other um, else um, statements there. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Okay, we will test the, the value of i. So i now is what? It's 6. So while 6 is less than or equal to 9, true or false? True. Okay, so while true, we will go up, okay, and then uh, initialize again the value of j to 3. So this will become now 3 again. Okay, the second time, uh, the second iteration. And then uh, read the do while, uh, the inner uh, do while, and then uh, print the uh, J. Okay, so since uh, in our uh, last um, output statement, we have here the print ln. So the insertion point is already on the uh, second line. So this time around, we are now going to print the uh, current value of J, which is a 3. And then asterisk again. And then J minus minus. So our J it will become now uh, 2. And then is J greater than 0? True. So we'll print again. So we have now uh, 2. And then asterisk, and then uh, j minus minus, so this will become oh, 1. And then uh, is 1 greater than 0, true, so print again. So we have now 1, and then asterisk, and then j minus minus, so this will become now 0. Is j greater than 0, false. So out, proceed to line 11, i plus plus, i now will become 7. Okay, 7, i plus plus. Okay, so take note, um, if you have noticed why the uh, i here uh, is still 7, it's because the um, uh, i, okay, the initial, I mean the, the declaration of i is outside of our do while, okay? So that is why um, we always um, increment this one, unlike in here that the declaration of a j is inside of the um, uh, do while so meaning every iteration we always uh, declare a new value of we declare the j and initialize a new value okay so that's the difference of the j the variable declaration inside of a do while and the variable declarations outside of the uh, do while okay, so take note of that okay now so where are we uh, now Okay, so we uh, increment already the, the i there, and then so we will now proceed to the if um, statement, if else. So if i, which is 7, mod 2, is it equal to 0? 7 divided by 2 remainder, is it equal to 0? No. So uh, this one is false, so we will not execute this. Let's go to another else if. Is i, okay, equals 5? Okay, i is not equal to 5 because the value is 7, so this one is not um, true also. That is why our last option is the else, okay? Uh, we will print the current value of i, which is 7. And then after printing, since uh, this one is a print ln, so we will, uh, our cursor or insertion point now moves to the next line. So we are now on the third line. And then we test. Is the current value of i, which is 7, less than or equal to 9? Okay, true. So, what are we going to do? While true, let's proceed. Let's go up again. Okay, the third time around, we will uh, execute the statements inside of the do while. Let's start with the line number 7 again. So, we have int j there. Okay, we will start again to 3. That's the initial value of j. And then, we have a do while, the inner loop. Okay, so system.out.print, take note we are on the third line, so we will print again the uh, 3 there, and then we have an asterisk, and a j minus minus, so this will become now 2, and then test again, is 2 greater than 0, true, so we will uh, display again, okay, we have 2, and then asterisk again, and then uh, j minus minus, so this will become 1, and then test again, is 1 greater than 0? True, so do. Okay, print again. We have a 1 and then asterisk. And then j minus minus, so this will become a 0. And then test again, is 0 greater than 0? False, so out. Okay, we are now on the uh, line 11, i++, plus plus, so i now will become 8. Okay, is 8, which is the current value of i, um, 
uh, modulo 2 is equal to 0, meaning 8 divided by 2, quotient is 4, remainder is, is it equal to 0? True. Okay, so we will execute now the if statement. So we have system that out that print i plus plus. Oh, take note, this, this one is a post increment. If we uh, use the uh, post increment inside of the print, it only means that we need to print the current value of i, which is 8. And then after printing, we need to add 1. Okay, so we have now here uh, 8. Okay, and then uh, we have plus the uh, number sign. And then since this one is a print, so we will, uh, there's no uh, new line there. We're still on the third line after this one. Okay, so I plus plus. So we have now 9. So I now is 9 after printing. Okay. So that's why uh, we have another uh, statement, i, the of i here now is 9, not 8 anymore, okay? So meaning the, uh, the um, post increment will take effect on the next output statement. So that's what happened here, okay? And then we have another um, number sign, and uh, again, uh, using print, so we're still in the current line. And then we have the pre-increment, okay, plus plus i. So meaning, before we print, we need to add. So uh, we have 9, so plus 1, so we have 10. So that's why, okay, we have 10 there. Then after that, we will not execute the else if because uh, the if condition is already true. Same with else, we will not execute that one, okay? We will uh, proceed to the while condition. Okay, while i, what's the value of i? It's 10. Is 10 less than or equal to 9? False. So we will not uh, execute this one, meaning exit. Okay, we're done. We're finished. Okay, so these are the final values of our variables. So i is equal now to 10 in the final output. So let's try to uh, run just to uh, check if our answer is correct. Okay, there you go. So that's the answer. Let's try our um, uh, answer here. Let's compare. Okay, we have 3216, 3217, 321, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so we are correct. So that's it. That's how we uh, trace the um, uh, do while loop. Okay, so these are the source code for this episode. And that's all for today video please give us a and consider subscribing and as always show your love through comments and favorites god bless and thank you for watching